think uh, you guys have seen too much of my face this week. Definitely. Anyway, welcome back to another vlog of the Freaky Friday. Episode something something. Um, and I'm Wayne, your host. And today we talk about Ouija boards. Right. Um, first things first though, please... If you don't want spiders crawling in your ears at night time, while you sleep, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the ding ding so you can get all the notifications of all the crap we put out every day or every week. Wish it was every day. <laughs> anyway, just serious notes. Welcome all. Um, I'm glad you could all join. We are hoping to go live streams soon, but uh, obviously we need some equipment to make that happen. So until such time, we are working hard at getting that done. And we found another abandoned house with like a dungeon. Went and checked it out. Obviously I didn't have my cameras and stuff from here. Um, Brennan and I went and had a look, and the neighbors were there, and we secured permission to go and check this place out next week during the evening. And the neighbors have told us when they work outside late at night, because I don't know how they do, like they work on cars and stuff. They hear conversations of people next door and all the rest of it, meantime there's nobody there. Um, they've gone to check, they've heard things banging inside, they've heard things getting thrown around inside. So just our kind of cup of tea. So we're going to check that place out and be excited for it. Anyway, let's get back to the Ouija board. Now this thing has been around for a long, long time. It used to be known as spirit board or talking board. Okay. I'm saying Victorian era. Okay. But the first or the the earliest mention of it actually derives from China, which was in 1100 AD, very, very long time ago. Anyway, um, so what happened was the Ouija board didn't really have such a bad rep as it does today, um, because back in the Victorian era, there was, you know, uh, spiritualism was a huge hype back then. And these Ouija boards, what they were known back then as spirit boards, were the big in thing. Um, and every spiritualist was using it for whatever the hell they needed to use it for. They used it for flipping, should I have some tea today? Yeah, tell me yes or no. Now for those of you that don't know what a Ouija board is, here's the pick. Now if you look on this picture, you'll see there's a yes and a no and all your alphabetical letters at the bottom you've got a goodbye so basically what you do is you're going to have to put your fingers on what's that planchette with a little hole in the middle sometimes some of them have a glass, some of them have a crystal and you're going to put two fingers on it each like if you've got three people, one person will put two fingers or actually it's two hands as far as I remember you can use one hand or two hands, two fingers on the planchette. And then if there's a spirit there, this planchette will start moving. You're going to ask it yes or no questions and it will move the planchette with that little window over the yes or over the no. And if it needs to tell you what its name is, etc., that little planchette will move across the board onto all the letters and spell out what it needs to spell out. Okay, so now you've seen what the Ouija board looks like or the ones that don't know. And this is what we're actually discussing. So yes, going back to this Victorian era of the spiritualism, or the spiritualists making use of it for everything. Um, there was this one dude, uh, I'll tell you in a sec, Charles Kennett, Charles Kennett. Charles Kennett, um, when this Ouija board was such a big hype, he decided to capitalize on this region and he started a company called Kennan's Novelties, I think it was. 
Kenel, Kenneth's Novelty Company. And they started mass producing these um, Ouija boards. It wasn't called a Ouija board before he started, it was a spirit board. And the way that they came up, or before I say how they came up with Ouija, um, Ouija is yes for French and German. So you take the OU, O-U-I, we, and J-A is ya. Okay? So that's where, what that stands for. And how this came about was Charles Kennard uh, and his wife were trying to decide what to call this board. And his wife was a spiritualist back then. And she said, why don't we let the board decide? So she went onto the board, they did the little spirit seance session, and they asked it, what should we name you? And the board spelt out Norwegian. And that's how that name was born. For those of you that don't know. <coughs> so once this company was started, um, they sold thousands upon thousands upon thousands of these boards. It was a big craze, everybody wanted them. Um, there was one stage that I read that there were more of these things getting sold in a year than a Monopoly board. So you must know. And then in 1973, things took a change because the movie Exorcist came out and people went to go watch the cinema. As you can see, this is a picture of the Exorcist. People went and watched this movie in the cinema and they got scared shitless. Uh, some of them were throwing up in their girlfriend's popcorn and some people fainted in the cinema, some other people ran out of the cinema. So it was quite a hectic movie when it came out. I actually still believe it's quite a hectic movie today still. So you watch that movie, Viera. Yeah, something else, eh? Anyway, when that movie came out, it was all about this little girl that got possessed by a demon. Don't ask me what the demon's name was. If anybody, if, if any of you guys are very, very well informed with how that movie goes, you can maybe leave a comment down there for us as to what this so-called demon was that possessed this little girl. Um, and the reason why she was possessed was because she was playing the Ouija board. So that's where the Ouija board started developing its bad rep. Um, there was even a company in London, you know, in the 80s, where they were selling these Ouija boards for like a pound or whatever. And there was some paranormal investigator that was having an absolute shit about this place selling, because it was under toys, you know, and kids could buy these things. I actually kind of agree with the guy because, you know, you don't go and just buy this. Oh, look, my seven-year-old child, he has a nice little board game for you. You can go and play this in your rooms. Uh, no, that's just stupid. You've got to be a little bit fucked in the head. But anyway, so this paranormal investigator is quite a well-known like back then. Um, made a big boo-haw about it. I don't know if he came right or not, but his whole thing was... If you're going to use an Ouija board, you need to be well versed with the Ouija board. You need to know what to do, how to close off, how to open, that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, Ouija boards were used by spiritualists, they were used uh, obviously by witches because it's a, a Ouija board falls very much in line with automatic writing, which is a very well known practice in spiritualism today and yeah it's 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 meant for you to be able to communicate with the other side you know in a much easier fashion the problem however um, is that you could be you could go in there and I want to speak to my father and your late father comes through and spells out his name, yes I am your dad, blah blah blah. In the meantime back at the ranch you could be speaking to a demon. It's that simple. 
yeah, it's, it's scary stuff because if, honestly, if you don't know what you're doing, then don't do it. That's how we roll. Anyway, um, the dangers of the Ouija board. How about I play this clip for you and you decide. It's just a short clip. I've taken out all the long stories and bullshit, but before I play the clip, basically what this dude did is him and his mates, he believes in everything and his mate doesn't, went into this graveyard and played the Ouija board in the graveyard, which is already something weird. And they broke all the rules of the Ouija board, spat on it, threw graveyard dirt on it, uh, whatever. They just, he tried to do everything that he was not supposed to do to see how bad things can get. Well, Check this out and you decide. No ghost bro, you're invisible, you ain't gonna do shit. How's that for disrespecting the Ouija board, eh? Yo, yo, you're fucking crazy, bro. You, you, you can finish it? it alone, but bro, I'm not down, bro. I, I'm trying to convince you that it's real, bro. Like, I want something to happen. Like, I want him to get so pissed, he attacks me. I'm gonna just play the Ouija board alone now, because that's another rule. And at the very end of this, I'm not saying goodbye. So we're gonna see how pissed off the spirits get. I right guys, so you're honestly not supposed to play alone and even though Salvador doesn't believe it, I know for a fact this stuff is real. So I brought along this like, uh, what's it called, a rosary? And I'm just gonna put that on for like protection, guys. That's why I'm next to the Jesus cross anyways. Cause playing it alone is really dangerous apparently and um, I want something to happen but I still wanna be protected by God. So um, here we go guys, it should be crazy. Fully disrespecting the spirits right now and I'm just gonna say for the record, God, please uh, protect me. Holy fuck! Bro, I just got literally a big ass bug just went in my fucking ear. But anyways, God, please protect me from this. Uh, I love you so much. All right, guys, let's go. All right, so uh, you still want me to run? Bro, I'm not moving it at all. You ain't gonna do shit to me. Ew. I'm not sure what that means, guys. Can you prove to us that you're real? Zo, so. Dude, 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 dude. Jay! Jay, snap out of it, man. Ah! No! Stop fucking around, man. It's not fucking crazy. I'm sketched out already. What are you doing, man? Dude, what, what happened, bro? What do you mean, what happened? Stop messing around. Bro, man. what the fuck happened? I don't know. What the just, fuck happened? just fell down to the ground. Where man. the fuck's my hat? You didn't fake that? What do you mean? I, I thought you were Dude, kind what the of fuck just out, happened? Bro. What the fuck happened, bro? Holy, Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. Holy fuck, man. Holy, Holy shit, dude. Shit, all right, all right. Turn the camera off, dude. Turn it off. Man, I I straight up think... That's, you think bro, that needs bro. stitches? Holy fuck, not, bro. Bro, you oh, definitely need fuck. stitches, bro. Dude, look at this. Holy that's, shit. That's, that's <sighs> just... Oh, my fuck. Oh, fuck. Bleeding, bro. 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 All right, guys, I'm not saying goodbye. Do you believe uh, it? Yeah, of course. You I'm believe not. this, dude. What the fuck is this, dude? Of course I fucking believe it, bro. Holy shit. All right, guys. Like, I should honestly go to the hospital, dude. I think you should, man. Like, that needs stitches for sure. I definitely just got attacked by a freaking demon. But, yo, I want to hear it, dude. Like, is this fucking fake? No, bro. Is it fucking fake? Bro, let's just leave, bro. So, scratchy, scratchy. Yeah, well, you want to fuck with shit that you're not supposed to fuck with. You can fool you. You know what I mean? You're going to feel it properly. Um, and then, you know, my version of it is, you know, playing in a Ouija board when you don't know what you're doing. If you are, in fact, talking to a demon or something nasty, and you don't close off properly, you've basically opened up a portal between 
them and you. Now, you must also remember something. If they show themselves to you, whatever, if you can see them, they can see you. Um, and it's the same thing if you can hear them, they can hear you. So you open up this portal and basically you don't close off properly. Now, all of a sudden, your warm and friendly home with loving memories of family and getting togethers and everything becomes a haunted fucking house. And you've got shit going on all the time where you've got to get people like us to come and do a cleansing or you've got to get uh, a priest in there or whatever. But yeah, it just shit goes sideways real quick. Um, another example of that is <coughs> these few guys and this girl get together and start playing a Ouija board and this is how this unfolds. It responded to you when you said ground. What the heck? What, where? What, what? Guys, this is getting super freaking creepy right now. So we're in contact with a, a spirit named Sam who claims they're evil and they were murdered by their mom in, in a house that used to stand here before it was ripped down. And then this house that we're in right now was built over top of it. So these maybe these lands are haunted, but like not the house specifically. You're just crazy. That makes sense. Places. Can you do something to prove that you're real? Are you sure we should ask that? That's that's breaking one of the rules. Oh, no, no, no. I, I I think it's one of you, so like I want to know if it's real, because oh, yeah, I don't want to die. Like <laughs> I don't want to think I'm gonna no, die. We're actually strongly squad. That's like breaking the rules. You're not supposed to ask it that. Okay. I don't care. <laughs> okay, okay. Do something to prove you're real. Can you? Oh my that was fast! That was so fast! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo! What the hell? Oh my god! Bro! Yo! All the candles just went out! We just like the candles just went out! Yo! What the heck? What the heck? Whoa! Yo! The thing's moving! Yo! Dude, it's moving! Yo! The fucking lights are moving! The fucking lights are moving over there! What the hell? Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell? What the hell? Dude, what the hell? We have what to say hi. Dude, this isn't funny. He's coming. He came. We, we took. Dude, we all took our hands off too. He's coming. Our hands hands off. Off. Dude, yo, are you okay? You okay? You okay? Oh you okay? Like Erica, not good. What's She's not hell? good, dude. Is she possessed? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not possessed. Yeah. Like, oh, what the heck? Guy. Guys, like, bro, I don't. She's crying, bro. Erica, you okay? What the hell? Erica, I don't know. Erica, yo, okay, yo, you can't be acting like this after this just happened. Yo, I have super bad vibes right now. Dude, dude, I'm getting weird. Dude, what the hell? What's wrong, wrong with right now? What's wrong with her? Erica! Erica, you okay? Oh my god. Okay, yo, I don't even, I'm freaking out now. I'm freaking out. This is what people do when they're freaking possessed, wait, wait, man. Erica. 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 Erica, are you okay? Yo, can you at least say something? What? Shh, shh, shh. Erica, Erica, you okay? Erica, are you okay? Erica, yo, what the dude, dude, what's she doing, er Erica? Dude, sh yo, where are you going? Yo, she, dude, what? She might be possessed. Yo, she might be possessed. Yo, she is. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Erica, where's she going? Yo, no, Justin, oh, Justin, come here, Justin, 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 come here, dude, dude. I think Yo, I'm freaking nah, out. No, I don't even know what to do. Dude, dude this is all my fault. Bro. This is all my fault. Yo, I was the one that told her. I was the one that got her to play the Ouija board. What are you being, bro? She's not possessed. Are you, yo, she, she is. What is she doing? What else would she be doing? Erica! Yo, Justin. Erica! Yo, is she in here? Dude, where is she? Yo, check every room. Check every room. Dude, what is she? What is she doing, man? Is she in here? I don't know. She's not here. I don't know. Is she here? Oh, 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 Erica! Erica, okay, this isn't funny anymore. Yo, she's definitely playing games. Yeah, yeah, turn off, turn off. What the hell is she doing? What is she doing? Erica, what are you doing? Yo, she's shaking. Erica! Dude, she's shaking. Look at her head. She's shaking, dude. What the heck? What's wrong? Dude, should I call 911? Yo, she's literally shaking. Erica! Erica, what's wrong? I can't do this. What? I can't do this. Do what? I can't do this. What do you mean? Do what? Who's gonna come for you? Who's gonna come for you? 
do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm going to stop her. Erica. Wait. Hello? Erica. Hey. You good? You okay? What? Whoa. Dude, you're in the Yo, shower. Just, you just shower walked up here. Shaking. You, okay? you were literally in the shower, and two seconds ago you were just tripping out. Like you were going crazy. You don't remember coming up here? I, I didn't want to, like... She doesn't like oh, she was definitely possessed, bro. 100%. Yeah, 100%. What? Wait, you don't know where you were? Do you, you remember were? playing the Ouija board? Yeah, I remember playing. Do you know where I you were? I don't remember right stopping. What? Okay, yo, I'm freaking out now. I'm freaking out. Yo, I'm getting the hell out of this house. I'm getting the hell out of this house. Yo, what the heck? So you're telling me you're totally good now? Well, I think. Do you remember anything that just happened right now? Do you remember how you got upstairs? You just walked upstairs. You didn't say anything. You know who Sam is? Do you know who Sam is? Did he say anything to you? You said that he was gonna do something to you or something. He was hurting you or something? Okay, guys. Well, if I haven't convinced you yet, uh, maybe this next clip will help. These three guys um, got together in a haunted house of all places, apparently. Uh, known for having a demon in it. And... This happens. Yes, what the hell? Okay, go, go, go. How did you die? M U R D E R Murder? You died by murder? What the heck? Yo, that could be why it's so like like mad all yeah. the time. Wait, is that why you're so like evil? Because That's... you're you're mad that you got murdered? What? That's so quick, bro. Dude, bro, dude, wait, it's like please powerful, say goodbye. Dude, please. What the heck? Dude, oh, this is freaking crazy now. right we now. We have to say goodbye. Who do you dislike the most out of us right here? Oh, no, no, no. D? What? No, 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 no. Dude, dude. That's DK. Oh DK! God, bro. Dude, bro. what the heck? And you said it was like scratching you last night yes, and stuff too, right? Yes, bro. Like you felt scratching? Yes. Can you point to DK? What the hell? Yo, oh my yo, god, bro. It's like, oh my god, yo, yo, dude, it's pointing it's, at it's me. It's literally pointing at me, right bro. Dude, what this the heck? Okay. It's kind of stopped. It kind of stopped. What the heck? Oh, what's it doing back? What's it doing back? Oh my god, dude, yo, it's, it's trying to escape. It's yo, when it goes up, it goes up, it's trying to escape. Yo, don't take your finger up. Don't take your finger up. What do you do? You can't take your finger up. Okay, say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Dude, you can't take your finger up like that. I'm not playing anymore, bro. Yeah, but dude, you can't do that. That's against the rules. That's the number one rule. It was pointing at me, bro. Yes, but dude. You at least done play the bro. I'm done. Dude, it said that it hates DK and then it like pointed to him and it went off the freaking bro, board. This can't be out, bro. I'm not playing with, playing with that anymore, dude. Oh my god. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Bro, do you he think it's like still here right no, now? No, no. Well, he has to be. He doesn't like him. Maybe say he's, he's they're gonna be like he's gonna be around until he he's gone. Maybe say give us dude, a sign or something. Like I don't know. Do you okay, know if you're still here, can you like give us a sign? Oh! oh shit! Oh my god! Yo, dude, what the heck? Dude! Oh my god, what are you doing? Are you Don't throw it out! Don't throw it out! Yo, yo, you can't throw them out! Dude! That's like the most disrespectful thing you can do! Bro! DK! Dude, DK! He hates me, bro! DK, you can't do that! I don't care! Dude, bro, why do you why do, you do that? Dude, it's pissed! It's like slam the door. That slam was hard. Okay, dude, I'm ending the video right here. I'm ending hey, the video. I'm done right playing here. with 3am stuff. I told you that so many times, bro! Every single time I tell you not to do this, you do it. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, guys, Let's guys, 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 guys. guys. All right, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down. All right, guys, that is why you do not mess with the Ouija board. We are never touching that thing again. We're not taking it out of the garbage bin. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like down below. Hit that subscribe button. I'm extremely shook right now, guys. But that was the Ouija board at 3M in the haunted house. As you can see, we're currently undergoing something extremely, extremely powerful. Like, whatever this is, does not want us here, guys. I'm going so, there you have it. I hope I made your skin crawl and I hope I made you poo yourself. Because I kind of was pooing myself while I was doing the research and getting these damn videos together. Hey, joking. Anyway, yeah, as I said, we've got that other house lined up for next week and we've got another spot that we're going to try and do next week. So we're going to try and do, uh, uh, drill two 
dusky investigations for you. See how that goes. Uh, hopefully, um, we make heavy communication and Brandon gets slapped around a little bit and thrown against the wall or something. That would be fun. Hope he doesn't watch this video. Um, yeah, um, it's going to be a Joel. We're looking forward to bringing you more content. I hope you guys are enjoying, uh, uh, enjoying our, our little compilations that we're putting together on the horror files. Um, the horror files are there to keep you guys entertained and keep you busy while obviously we are not able to get other things done and getting permissions and sitting with lockdown bullshit and curfews and what what not. So we like to keep the channel busy and we like to keep you entertained because we know you guys some, want something to watch. Yes, it's not myself, Brandon, or Bernard, or whatever, but you know what? It's damn well entertaining, and it's some of them are eye-opening, and some of them downright goddamn scary. So, and that's what we're here to do. We are we are here to make you shit yourself. So, if we don't do it with ourselves, we're gonna get other things to do it for you. Sound fair? I think it's fair. I think it's really fair. I actually I think it's awesome. Anyway. Um, we've got a I think yeah, good demon Monday and a good witchy Wednesday coming up as well. So keep tuned, stay in tune for that. <coughs> you guys are gonna enjoy that one. Um, the demon Monday is it's a freaky one that uh, kind of makes me shiver a little when I when I do all my research on it and stuff. I have done a lot of research before, but now I've got to sit and do refreshes. But the next one's gonna be about hellhounds. Uh, some really 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 scary shit I must admit so anyway from us at Perry X we love you all we thank you all for your support and please like and share and subscribe to our video spread it out there let's get our subscribers up we've got until June to get to a thousand subscribers guys please please help us please and guys please Comment in the comment section. Even put there, hey, do us. I don't care. You know, as long as it's a comment. So just comment something down there for us. I know I've got my regulars over there that do the commenting, but I need a lot more of you to put comments there. Just anything. When you watch these videos, did this help? Did this open your eyes? Did that help you see things a little bit better over there? Did I say something over there that sounded like a load of bullshit? Whatever. Just put it there. Put it. Those comment sections mean a lot. And guys, a lot of you don't hit that like button. I know, I sometimes do that to other videos I watch as well. But you know what? Now that I'm in this type of business, I actually go back to the video and I click on that like button. Because you know what? It adds to YouTube's algorithm. It helps us to get noticed. When we get noticed, the content is going to come in so thick and, and, and furious that you guys are going to, it's going to make your head spin, honestly. Anyway, guys, that's enough rambling and bullshit for me. Much love from Wayne, Eric's. Peace.